Hey guys, I'm Nick and today I want to share with you a really quick and beginner-friendly Houdini tutorial. It will be rendered using Octane in Houdini, we are not exporting any Alembics, but you can also use Redshift or any other rendering engine. If you want to support this channel and me creating these 3D tutorials, please consider subscribing and check the link in the description to get a project file. So the effect that we will be creating today looks like this. So, we are in Houdini and I will walk you through this project. Uh, it's rendered here in uh, Houdini using Octane, so I will show you this part too. And uh, also, yeah, let's begin with, uh, with our setup. So, first of all, you need to drop your Geo node, so just this geometry. And uh, I will walk with, uh, with the setup I already have. Basically, that's everything you needed uh, for this effect so uh, I will try and keep this tutorial uh, short so we are starting with a sphere it's your regular sphere like this one and the primitive type is set to polygon it's also scaled just a little bit and uh, yeah that's all with the sphere uh, then we need to add a poly spline node and uh, Basically what it does, it creates splines from the edges of your mesh. Then I added a copy and transform node and I copied our sphere two times. Each time it's scaled to be 0.8 um, from the initial size of the sphere. So basically it's a sphere inside a sphere inside a sphere. And uh, here in a rotation, it's really important for this effect. So uh, basically every frame, it's uh, rotated by the number of the frame and uh, by the multiplication of the number of the frame and 0.2. So it looks like this. Then for the organic kind of effect, I'm adding connect adjacent, I don't know how to spell it correctly, so apologize, um, connect adjacent pieces, um, connection type is set to adjacent points and uh, assume uniform radius is unchecked. Search radius is basically the radius um, where two points, when one point will be searching for another point to connect. Let me visualize this if I set it to point uh, zero 0.01. We see that we don't have any points um, that are in that radius. For example, let's just, it's really hard to like see, but here, these, let's say these one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh point here in the center. The distance between them is larger than 0.1, but 0 0.01, sorry. But if we, let's say, set it to 0 0.05, you see that these points become uh, connected. Let's leave it at 0.11. But yeah, as always, um, I think I, I say that in, in every tutorial, Houdini is all about just tweaking these parameters and seeing the results you got. So feel free to experiment and try different values. Here in the attribute blur, it makes it just more organic, I think. And method should be set to edge length. Blurring iterations really don't matter that much, but you see that They are more expanding or collapsing the, the geo. Um, the thing that matters is odd step size and even step size. Feel free to experiment with these values because they will give you like really, really different results. Mines are set uh, minus 0.667 for odd step size and even step size is 0.568. All right. 
Now to just smooth it out even more, I added a smooth node and uh, strength is set to 12, uh, filter quality to 2 and uh, yep, that's basically it for the setup. I thought it was easy. So um, yeah, now let me walk you uh, through the rendering part. I'm not sure if we need the smooth node. Maybe let's try without it. So I added a camera, it's an octane camera and also I added the octane light and the octane light is above this thing here. Also you will need two nodes, shopnet and ropnet. Ropnet is basically your render output where it's set um, the resolution, the frame number, also image file path where you will be exporting the render frame range is also here so uh, and uh, in the shop net you configure all your materials i have a free preset on my gumroad store link will be in the description so you don't need to set up these manually and also i think that um, i have covered this process in one of my previous tutorials one of the early ones so uh, yeah, basically what we have here is our material. It's very easy, just glossy material um, of white. So with roughness, yeah, that's, that's it. And for the render, what do we have here? Um, we don't need this one. I'm, I'm cleaning this one up because it will be available on, on Gumroad for download. Um, so you can just download it and play. All right, and uh, what do we have here? The environment is set to black. Camera imager, exposure, gamma, all that stuff. And we are rendering this on transparent background. 128 samples, we don't need much of them. So yeah, that's that should be it. Let me open the camera. Oh, and also here in the sphere, in our geo um, node, we need to do a few things. So for the octane tab, what do we need? We need a smooth angle set to 23. We also need to enable the fur and render as curves for object and you see that curve root and curve tip thickness are set to a pretty low number basically it will render your hair at the wires not like the edges but the actual geometry even though there will not be like polygons all right um, we don't need the wireframe color here we need to add our material. Material is created in ShopNet, so let's just open ShopNet and our material. And now I think I think let's just open the um, Octane IPR. All right, so yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good. There's also um, depth of field. The focus point is somewhere here. And uh, basically, when these spheres are rotating one inside another, it creates this kind of like stepping effect, uh, as you may see in the in the preview in the beginning of this tutorial. So uh, yeah, that's it. If you want to export and render it in another software, just use this uh, arrow P alembic node in the end of your nodes here that's all guys thanks so much for watching i really hope that now you don't think that to create something in houdini it doesn't necessarily mean 
uh, to write wax code or tons of nodes and all that stuff. And if you enjoyed it, please uh, leave a like, subscribe to this channel and make sure that all notifications are enabled because I'm uploading videos every week and I try to cover many different topics starting with these 3D tutorials and all the way to personal finance and freelance business. I'll be back soon. Bye.